What's up? It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness. It's time to do it with Hewitt. Welcome back to another episode in my Roll to Rip series. So I finally joined the OPA, the Ontario Physique Association, paid for my membership. I'm, a, I'm an officially an OPA member and I've chosen a competition to enter. So I'm going to be going into the uh, Fouad Abiad, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, on May 14th in Mississauga. So going forward, this has nailed down my training schedule so I know exactly what I need to be prepared for for peak week and uh, exactly what I need to do and that's going to be focused primarily around fat loss. So when it comes to fat loss, especially related to preparing for a competition, like Kane Sunabat put it, you don't want to blow your load too soon. So for example, start off with a calorie deficit. Now I've been in a caloric deficit for several weeks already. And once you plateau or you stall out in your fat loss in a calorie deficit, then you can introduce high intensity interval training. And I've just started to introduce that into my program now. I'll be uploading a video soon in this series showing you how I'm incorporating high intensity interval training into my program. Once you stalled out in your fat loss, you've hit another plateau uh, with the high intensity interval training and your calorie deficit, then you can introduce fat loss supplements or fat burners. And this is usually some kind of thermogenic incorporating caffeine or caffeine ephedrine or synephrine, uh, green tea extract, etc. Again, I'll be producing uh, or uploading a video soon showing you what supplements I'm using. So again, down the road, you'll have uh, some supplements you can introduce to continue your fat loss efforts. Uh, when you plateau again, you can increase your caloric deficit, you're getting close to your competition hopefully by this point, uh, and then play with your macronutrients or adjust your macros. What I'll be doing is, uh, when it gets down closer to the contest, I'll be increasing my protein intake slightly and then uh, reducing my carbohydrates and also cycling my carbs, so specifically backloading. So the majority of my carb intake will be post-workout. Now coming up later in this series, I will be uploading a full day vlog showing my meal prep for the day uh, from beginning to end, breaking down my calories and my macronutrients so you can see exactly what I'm eating in preparation for this competition. So if you approach your fat loss efforts this way, it gives you some flexibility. When you hit a plateau, you have another element to introduce to continue your fat loss efforts. As opposed to starting off with a huge calorie deficit right off the bat, uh, and throwing all your high intensity interval training sessions as right away and a, a ton of fat loss supplements uh, and then when you hit a plateau, what do you do? I mean, you can't you can go into an even deeper deficit right off the bat, uh, add even more supplements on top of that or train even, add even more training volume to the program. This gives you some progressions you can introduce and allows you to have continued small improvements right up until the competition. I hope you found this useful. Stay tuned for other videos in the series coming up soon and until then, stay strong.